Hi everyone, welcome to VRZ Torment, previously known as VRZ Game. They have changed the title to the game to a much better title. I hope you're a fast learner. And the game's actually improved quite a lot since it first came out many months ago. Uh, it's been in early access and active development this for a while now. Test. Nothing is real unless you fail. Okay, it's getting deep. So this is a zombie survival game. Huh. Nice feeling, eh? Yeah, it is. Shooting at ducks. It's not a zombie, but I'm actually okay for now because it's not nighttime. They don't come out until night. It's almost nighttime, though. So, I gotta haul ass around the map and collect some gear. So I can survive nighttime, which is when you can save the game. And it's actually pretty tough. It's a hard game. Oh, here's our first sign of a zombie. What's up, rats? Oh! Little rat family! Slow and steady. Coming through! That's how you do it. Oh no! Oh! You need to work on my aim there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots. Family, one. Damn useful tool. Used to have one in my shop back when I had a shop and a real life. Crowbar, useful. It's a tool. So, use a flashlight for now. Keep on trucking. I love the amount of like atmospheric sounds they put in. Just to mess with you. Because Mom's looking around for the zombies, even though I know they're not coming yet. The graveyard is probably the worst place to be when dealing with a uh, zombie apocalypse. Although some badass out here just destroyed this zombie and left his axe behind. Chop, chop time. Shrine his kill. I'll take that axe, thank you very much. Never know if you're gonna run out of ammo, but figure it out. You can look at your watch, so this is your interface, just your smartwatch, which is pretty cool. The less interface in a VR game, the better. So you got your health, your max ammo, and your current clip remaining ammo. This is a pretty big open world island. When I first started playing, I thought that this fence was just the end, and there was no way to get past it, because it always kills you if you go up to it. But you can't actually disable the fence and go explore a lot more stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of like quests you can do, sort of, where you find some object, like a generator, and you need to go get gas for it. Going here. Did I say something? No. Just a reflection. Okay. That sound. Oh, I think I know what that sound is. See, so you're being watched. It's not just a normal zombie apocalypse. This is like a corporate sponsored zombie apocalypse. And the backstory is that you have been put on this island, you've been infected with some sort of disease by a corporation. And they're testing you out along with a variety of their other toys, including a bunch of zombies. And this thing, I don't know what this thing is, but that's another one of the like little quests or puzzles that you have to figure out. So I will come back to that later once I find some stuff. Damn. Pretty intricate organ here. Alright, alright. Nothing too interesting. It's a nice looking world though.
There's like a lot of unique objects everywhere. It's not just a bunch of copy pasted shit, so I'm always like freaking out at some random object in the distance thinking it's a zombie. How are we doing? We still got some light left. Still got some time. Oh. Never seen this before. Oh, look, it's a map. That's where we came in at, on at the top, the river. The church is that building. That's the church. All right, all right. Now, let's go over here real quick. I gotta hustle. Oh, no, nope. zombies are here. Oh god, that red light is not good. That screaming is not good. It means the zombie with C4 is coming. Oh, maybe I can blow these guys up. Get out of the way. Oh, out, Tommy. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. You just gotta hit the C4 once and you blow them up. Stop questing. It just gets a little more dangerous. All right, crowbar. Open that lock. Get in here. This puppy can power up this safe house. Okay. So we found gas, but there's not a portable gas canister over there. And I kind of want to see what's going on with this ladder. I don't know what that says. There's water, and you can go in the water, you can go underwater, there's like special stuff under there, and there's gear that you can get, unless you hold your breath underwater a little longer. Uh-oh. Alright. One headshot, two headshots. That's what it takes. Let's try. One headshot, one body shot. Oh, it worked. Right. It's not like your typical VR game where you can just kill every zombie with one headshot. This one doesn't sound very pleasant. Three body shots. Oh god, where? It's coming from over here? Yep, yep. Oh god. Yo, ow, Tommy. Took a little damage, I'm okay. My, my plan kind of fell apart. That's what zombies do. Inconvenient you. Okay, there's something over here. Oh. Healing? Need some healing? Perfect. Now, can I actually go up here? Take me up. No, doesn't work. Okay. Aw, oh, man. Okay. So much for that plan. I don't really want to go in the water either. I'm going to head towards the safe house, which is farther away. They're all dead already. Okay. Can't move that fast. <laughs> Which is good because it means you gotta contend with all the zombies coming at you. Right in the Ooh, kisser. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's a beefy one. Three headshots for that big buff one. What's this? Oh, this is where I crashed in on, on the boat. Or is it? No, no, no. This isn't it. Crashed in over there. Some other poor sucker crashed in here. Alright. Double tap. 
Salt zombie. Very clever. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's try it out long range. Oh. Got the bitch. Where's that music coming from? Okay, okay. Focus on the task at hand. Sweet child of Jesus. I see. Find in the kiss yourself. Okay, moving on this way. Here's that very first little zombie we ran across. Bye, buddy. All right. It's devil time. Okay, it's devil time. It's happened to me once, and basically, this is when shit starts to get real. Okay, I gotta get away from the graveyard as fast as I can. It's really dark, but this is good. It means I'm making it through the night. Just gotta survive this. And then maybe a little bit more. I've never survived this. Okay. That's a bad sound. Here they come. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Homie. As long as there's no screaming, I like it. Okay, okay. We're making progress here. Got him. Put that body on the floor. This isn't the one I was going for, but it'll have to do. It is. Sort of a safe house. I think it's called the safe house. Get in there. Okay. Rest At least it's a cho it's a you can Rest here. Can I close the door? Anyway? Actually, it kind of looks like it. This is where the generator is. I need to find a a fuel canister for the fuel tank. Gobble, gobble, mini freak. Okay. Oh. Okay. Your eyes on the choke. Gobble, gobble, Woo. mini freak. I'm surviving. Another map. 
more mids. I'm actually kind of low here. Use this now, as in now. Use this now, as in now. Damn. Around here, okay. Maybe I should pay attention. All right, do not worry about the basic zombies. Gobble, gobble, mini freak. Oh god. GG. Easy. Sunlight. We're almost through. Oh. Right in the kitchen. Another kiss on it. Using my axe. Yeah. The axe is actually pretty tough to use. You have to hit him with the head of the axe, and you have to hit him in the head multiple times. Merry Christmas, Lawrence. Merry Christmas, Lawrence. They're all dead. You can outrange him, though. That's the thing. Got a kite. Okay. Merry okay. Christmas, Lawrence. This is why I'm conserving my ammo. I like that sound. Yo, ow, Tony. So satisfying. The gunplay is fun though, and it's not just limited to uh, the pistol. There's actually more guns. Merry Christmas, Lauren. Shotgun, assault rifle, AK. There's even special guns that like light zombies on fire or freeze them. Grenades, special grenades. This game actually has quite a lot of content for a VR game. Large area to explore and a lot of stuff to do. And it's also challenging. I'm on medium difficulty right now. Turns off my lasers. Oh, 
should not be wasting ammo right now. Any way to replenish my ammo? No. Eventually you like unlock that door and there's like a generator and this thing. Oh god, okay, okay. Focus. Ow, Tony. That one hit me. On our last clip. Come on, Knight. Stop being Knight. I thought you were almost over. Whoa! This zombie's got some tricks up his sleeve. Ow, Tony. Uh oh, taking damage. Axe is not built for this. I need like a sword. I think there is swords. Little piss ant. Go this way. Oh god. Can I get an exploder to come, please? Need some AOE here. I hear something. Something ominous sounding. Get that guy. Come on, yeah. In the head. Straight down. Skull crackers. Oh. Come on. That actually sounds like. Oh, my boys. Oh, come on. Not an ideal situation right now. Seven hit points. Oh, no. 102 zombies killed. Zero days survived. Well. There you have it, folks. That's VRZ Torment. Previously known as VRZ Game. It's come a long way. It's actually a really good game. So I recommend checking it out because it's only you know me. like I'm just a voice twelve dollars or something. About a long time ago, so I don't really remember. Uh, but yeah, it's fun, and this is just a small taste of what you can do. Uh, you got to put all the pieces together, actually successfully move across the map. Get all the uh, the gas and the generator and the code and take down the fence and keep moving on and uh, the developers keep adding new stuff to it. I'm There's a boss and stuff that you can summon and all sorts of crazy items you, you can get. Can hear me. So uh, if you're I looking hope. for a game like this, like if you liked Arizona Sunshine, looking for something, something a little similar um, that also has some depth and uh, length to it, then it's a good game. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay. And uh, have a great day, and goodbye. Whoops. More loot. Uh, and then you can jump again while you're in the air. So you can kind of chain them together, but eventually you'll run out of energy. There we go, here he is. Oh, let's drop in on him. Doesn't even see me. Alright, boss approaching.